Hey, welcome to Real Reviews, and I'm Chase Lee, and for this review of Haunted House 2, I'm going to make this review all found footage. I know what you're thinking. It's going to be kind of difficult to just hold the camera in place, you know, talk about the movie and not have it shake a million times like, oh god, what is that? I mean, you see, I just made a found footage movie. Now, Haunted House 2 is very interesting because it's a sequel to uh, Haunted House that came out, I don't know, a couple years ago, and uh, Marlon Wayans is in it, and there's, there's a lot of jokes in there. There's one that he was talking about. Get this, it was like a, uh, let me see if I can remember it. Oh yeah, he was like, uh, watermelon, grape soda, uh, I can't pay my bills, and uh, you know, he said I'm a ni- Wait, when did you, when, when did you get here? I was here the whole time. I think I'm in the wrong house. Welcome to Real Reviews, I'm Chase Lee, I'm here to review Haunted House Dose number 2, whatever. The last one came out like last year, last week, or 12 hours ago, can't remember. Either way, it was a fast turnaround for the sequel. So what did I think of it? When I saw the first one, I saw it on Netflix, and I didn't really see it with the crowd, and I gotta tell you, it was not funny. I did not find it funny at all. And I like Marlon Wayans, I like his spoof uh, comedy humor, uh, if you will. I love the first two scary movies. We'll just go ahead and leave it at that. Even though I own the third and fourth one, I still... Third one's, the third one's good, fourth one's... Uh, just, the first two are... I, I, they're great. Like They're part of the reason why I got into uh, what I do. And so... Uh, is the second one better? Eh, it's slightly bumped up, in my opinion, just because I saw it with the crowd and like there's more energy and stuff. So let's break this down. It's directed by Michael Tiddies... Tiz... Tits... Uh, Michael T-I-D-D-E-S, I'm going to say Tides. So Michael Tides directs this, and it's written by Marlon Wayans and Rick Alvarez, who also co-wrote, uh, or also wrote uh, this, the first one. And, uh, I mean, the tone, of, the tone of this, like, because when you look into a comedy, like, directing-wise, you got to look for timing, uh, amount of jokes thrown at you, and, you know, consistency with the jokes. This movie's a hit and miss, all over the place. Uh, some jokes will hit you, some jokes will just kind of like, eh, that was kind of like, eh, or just gross to be gross. So I thought it was just half and a half, you know. There's a lot more misses than hits. I did laugh and chuckle a couple times, but overall, there's a lot of jokes that just fell flat, and, you know, these type of movies are hard to do. I'm sorry, but, like, spoof horror comedies are really hard to pull off very well to a point where, like, um, it's either going to be really bad or really, really good. There's no in-between. Um, this is more bad than good, but like I said, I did chuckle a couple times, so I will give it that. Um, so overall tone is just kind of hit and miss for joke, joke wise. Uh, acting, Marlon Wayans is in this once again. Uh, Gabriel Iglesias, he's pretty funny. Jamie Presley's in this. Yeah, she's, she's in it. She's, she's good looking. Um, uh, overall, everyone has good timing with each other. Um, uh, like I said, some jokes work, some didn't, but the timing and the dialogue is entertaining enough from the actors that you want to pay attention to see what they would say next, so that's the best way I can put it. Cinematography, it's a comedy, guys. Come on. Um, <laughs> it, it's shot. The movie is shot. Um, anyways, uh, editing, uh, the movie is like an hour and 20 minutes, but like I said, it's entertaining enough and paced at a brisk pace to where you're not going to be looking at your watch and go, oh, what time is it? I don't, I don't have a watch. Um, to where it's not going to really bother you. Like I said, you'll be entertained no matter what. You might find this funny, you might not. Uh, just for me personally, just more more misses than hits, but that's just me. Overall, I'm going to give it just straight down the middle, uh, 5 out of 10. Uh, there's really nothing more I can say. So what did you think of Haunted House 2? And have you seen Haunted House 1? Comment in that place, throw it below my face and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching more reviews. I'm Chase Lee, and I'm going to go ask why that black man is sitting on my couch. All right, I'll see you guys later.